All right, let's go across to Amrit Pal Singh. He's joining us live from Austin, Texas. Uh, Amrit, uh, like you said in the report also, uh, it's very tight. Uh, but talking about the campaign, uh, Trump people sound confident. They are confident that they're going to take all seven battleground states, like you mentioned in the report also. Uh, Kamala Harris people sound much more cautious, saying that they have got better ground game. Uh, but what do you hear from both campaigns at the ground, especially uh, Donald Trump? Is it based on uh, maybe 2016 or data? What are you hearing? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, one, uh, the first about Donald Trump's uh, camp being very confident about uh, taking all the seven battle straits. Uh, that is typically uh, political uh, rhetoric uh, okay. before the election because they want to infuse voters. All politicians do that, saying that, oh, we are coming into power. Uh, that's not a phenomena, uh, uh, just uh, relevant to the United States of America. It's all over the world. Uh, so uh, they know uh, the race is tight, polls are, uh, suggest the race is tight. Uh, Kamla also knows that the race is tight. What goes against Kamla is that Kamla is in office. Kamla mm. is the vice president. She's part of the Biden administration. Biden being a very unpopular president, she carries the baggage of his anti-incumbency. Therefore, she's sounding conscious, cautious, uh, but she's trying to tell uh, the voters that I will make a fresh start. I will break away from the policies of Biden. So in a subtle way, she's trying to say, I will set, uh, uh, set afresh. Uh, therefore, she doesn't want to sound, come across as somebody who's too arrogant uh, okay. because she wants the sympathy vote to come to her way, saying that it wasn't her fault, it was Biden's fault. Uh, whereas Trump, Trump's personality is uh, go-getter, uh, the typical type A personality. Um, uh, they demon, they, 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 uh, he's the kind of man that he is. Uh, so, uh, you know, that is why the difference between the two. If you look at the 2016, yes, they were very close. Look at Arizona. Uh, Joe Biden got it, but it flipped only by a 0.3%. Just about 10,000 votes of difference. Uh, not much. A uh, factor in the margin of error, it could reverse. Uh, the similar situation, uh, it's a close contest in, uh, say, um, uh, Michigan. Uh, it's uh, close in Wisconsin. Uh, so it is a really, really close contest. Therefore, assertion by both sides is just political strategy. Okay, uh, Amrit, uh, uh, it's going neck and neck uh, according to different polls. It's very close, like you were saying. Uh, but everyone wants to know, uh, but why is this race so close? Uh, I mean, they are saying it's the closest election since, I was reading it somewhere, since uh, Bush v. Gore, that was in 2000, uh, 24 years ago. Why has this become so close? Uh, maybe America politically divided, uh, one of the many reasons? Uh, that's one reason. It was, it, you are right to draw in comparison uh, uh, between the 2000 election, Al Gore and George Bush, which the Supreme Court of the United States yeah. had to settle uh, in favor of George Bush. They uh, stopped the recount. Uh, so, uh, therefore, uh, you know, uh, essentially sending a message that uh, uh, the system is what it is. Now, uh, why do you ask me why is it so close? Because of the uh, issues at stake. He's mm. raised up the rhetoric so much. I was covering the 2016 elections here in the U.S. It was then also uh, pretty, pretty vitriolic between Hillary Clinton and uh, 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 Donald Trump. But this time around, the kind of language that is being used mm. uh, you know, uh, do uh, uh, by Donald Trump and actually by both sides, Donald Trump calling... Uh, Joe Biden uh, uh, saying that he became a retard, Kamala was born one, uh, Kamala saying he's unhinged, mentally unstable, he's saying she's a threat to democracy, Elon Musk saying that if uh, you call him a threat to democracy, you're a threat to civilization, etc. The society is divided right from the middle. It is a very, very polarized society this time around. And therefore, you see uh, such tough competition. And at, by the end of the day, trust you me, my sense of the number of days that I have spent in the United States uh, traversing various states. I just came back uh, from a place <coughs> called Labrador. I was on the Mexico-US uh, uh, border where the illegal immigration mm. takes place. People are highly, highly divided. And that's why it's that so close. Mm. What do people say on the ground, Amrit Pal? Uh, you spoke about uh, the Mexico border. I mean, what are the issues that matter the most to the people? Jobs, economy, mm. Mm. rising cost of living, mm. of affordable housing, 
taxes uh, for women abortion, the right to choose or the right of women rights. Uh, this is what matters to them. Some do care about, you know, say the Arab uh, uh, American community uh, cares about what's happening in uh, Palestine, Israel. Uh, but broadly, to the average uh, Joe or the average Jill, these are the issues which matter. All uh, right, Amritpal. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for your insights and puts.